Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and Apple has recently released iOS 15.4 beta one. This is an amazing update, bringing a lot of new features and changes and some of them really, really big features to iOS. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at more than 20 new and also hidden features that you will be able to find on iOS 15.4. Now, before I get started with the features, I just want to ask you guys for a quick favor. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel because most of you guys, even though you watched the videos, you didn't subscribe to the channel. So that would really, really help out a lot. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we're starting things off with a big, big feature called universal control. Now, if you have watched WWDC 2021, when Apple introduced iOS 15, Mac OS 12, and also the new iPad OS 15, they introduced this feature called universal control. So basically you have an iPad, something like this, maybe you have your Mac and you can just use both of them at the same time. Now you don't have to set it up or anything. You're using your Mac. You can just move the cursor from your Mac directly to your iPad without having to configure anything. It doesn't have any settings or anything like that. You just keep two devices close and it just works and it is really, really amazing. Another big new feature on iOS 15.4, even though I really think Apple is very, very late with this one, they should have released this long time ago. It is called unlock face id with a mask now if you have an apple watch you could do that even before but now you will be able to actually do this without having to have an apple watch at all just use your iphone it is very simple to set up all you have to do is go to your settings go to face id and passcode settings and just enable it right here now what you can also do is make sure you go ahead and add glasses as well so if you use the mask and glasses you can actually still unlock your iphone with face id by adding glasses right here pretty simple to use you can go ahead and set it up from here now of course when you enable this you will have first to set up your face of course with a mask so that your iphone will recognize how your face looks with a mask and then of course enable the feature right here and you won't have any more problems unlocking your iphone while wearing a mask a new feature has been added to the iCloud settings as well. So when you go to the top of the settings app under iCloud account and you go to password and security, you will have here an option to now disable iCloud data on the web. So, you know, you can log in into your iCloud account on the web and actually have access to stuff like your photos, notes, reminders, and your files. But now you can actually choose to disable that so you can have access to your files just from your iPhone. So for any like security reasons or anything like that, you can go ahead and disable this from the iP Apple ID settings at the top of your settings app. And with iOS 15.4, we get new emojis. Apple has added more than 30 new emojis to iOS with iOS 15.4. And here are some of them. We have that like crying face. We have the melting face and that one right there. Pretty cool. The low battery emoji. That's really, really awesome. So more than 30 new emojis, which you will be able to use once you update your device to iOS 15.4. With iOS 15.4, now you will be able to share play directly from the music app. So if we go here, let's say to a playlist or something like that, I can just tap right there on the three dots. Now we'll have here a new option to share play. So you get the share play button right there on the music app. That's really, really cool. Now the share play button also has been added to the share sheet on your device with iOS 15.4. So if you go to any app, that supports share play now you will get that button actually on the share sheet so if you just tap on share right there you can see we have now share play now I tap right here it will show you a field to search for any of your contacts and once you have added one of your contacts right there you will get this new interface that will let you call them or facetime them directly from here so of course you can add one or more contacts right there by tapping the plus button now this right here is super useful. If you create a personal automation on your iPhone, you will now be able to actually choose that automation to actually notify you or not when it's running. So if you disable ask before running, your automation basically won't ask you, it will just run automatically as it should. But that little notification that shows you that the, the automation has just run, you can disable that now with iOS 15.4. So you will get that as an option here, you can enable or disable the notification when running an automation. 
and with the AirPods on iOS 15.4, we get an updated pop-up here. So when you want to connect your AirPods to your iPhone, you will get this newer pop-up here. It has been redesigned slightly. So we have bolder text right there and we have redesigned icons here for the battery chosen percentage on the battery or there it used to be like on the right side here now it looks much much better another thing that has changed here if you go under the accessibility settings and you go to airpods right there now you will have a new icon with the airpods pro it used to be an icon with the airpods max and now has been changed with ios 15.4 another thing that has changed on ios 15.4 you know that when you have your airpods connected and you receive a call the ringtone quality is really really bad now that has changed and the ringtone quality will be really good the same as it comes from your iphone speaker and again of course it will switch to the worst quality when you go into the call but the quality of the ringtone will be really really high with iOS 15.4, we have a new home screen widget, and that's the Apple Card widget. Now, you can actually add just one widget, just a smaller, you don't have any other sizes, but it looks pretty cool here. And if you use the Apple Card, then you will be able to actually track your balance directly from the home screen. Now, one really cool update with iOS 15.4 is that optimized battery health now will track your sleep based on your apple watch so if you have an apple watch and you have of course the sleep schedule set up and everything that will now help the battery health and of course the optimized battery charging to better know when you wake up and when to charge your device fully that's a really amazing feature that apple has added to ios 15.4 always looking to improve the battery life and of course the battery lifespan of your iphone on the notes app when you tap right there on that little camera icon now you will get another option to scan text now that used to be here before you only had take photo scan documents and choose photo or video now you can also tap on scan text of course this allows you to scan any text you want this is the live text feature but now you will have it here as well instead of just having it on the menu right there and when you go to your passwords on the settings app if you go to one of the passwords or you add a new password you now will be able to actually add a note for that password so if you just have to basically remind anything that you need to know about that password or maybe something that will give you a hint or something like that you can add notes right here pretty cool new feature for ios 15.4 moving on here to another setting if you go to safari and scroll all the way down you will have advanced here and then you have experimental features now if you use any of these ones or you have just basically played around and enabled or disabled any one of them and you don't know which it was you can now go ahead and reset all of them to their defaults pretty cool and very useful feature to have right there you don't need to worry about what you're doing there just tap right there and everything will be back to default Another change under the settings here is on the TV app. So if you go to TV, you will have here device preferences. So what you can do now is choose to show sports scores or use play history right there. And you will have also another section here for up next. So the way the up next displays, you can choose to have a still frame or poster art, whichever one you choose from here. Pretty cool. Of course, a very nice touch right there for the TV app. If you use the Apple TV app, that's a pretty cool new feature. Another pretty cool thing that iOS 15.4 will add if you own the iPhone 13 Pro or the 13 Pro Max, third party apps now will be able to fully use the 120 gigahertz promotion display that you have on the newer devices that's pretty cool as well and also if you have one of those devices you know that the reachability view the animation that you get on the reachability view right here using to be 120 gigahertz it was like 60 now is up to 120 of course it looks much much better Another new feature with iOS 15.4, go to your settings, go to your iCloud and you go to your iCloud settings right here. You will have now here custom email domain. So if you use the iCloud plus subscription, you will be able to use a custom domain for your email right there. Let's quickly move to the iPad here. Now what we have on the iPad, go to Apple Pencil right there. You will have left corner swipe 
and right corner swipe. Now what you can choose here is quick note. Now this will work even without a pencil, but you have the others like screenshot or off. Now you can completely turn it off if you don't want to use that feature. And another pretty cool feature, if you use a third party keyboard for your iPad, you go to control center right here under settings, you can now add keyboard brightness. This will allow you to actually adjust the keyboard brightness of your physical keyboard directly from the control center. So these are the cool new features that Apple has added to iOS 15.4. Of course, with more to come on the newer betas. Now let's just take a look right here at the calendar. So you can probably expect Apple to release a new beta for iOS 15.4 maybe next week or the week after but i'm expecting it to be released the week after probably it will be somewhere around february 7th or 8th now this is a, a quite a big update of course with a lot of new features and some of them like the universal control which is a big big feature it will require a lot of work so i can expect apple to actually release quite a few betas for this software update not just like two or three whatever they released actually for iOS 15.3 this should have at least five or six betas and I expect Apple to release this software to the public somewhere around spring probably somewhere around the end of the March somewhere like that or beginning of April whenever they hold their event of the spring where they probably will release a new iPhone SE I'm expecting Apple to release iOS 15.4 to the public around that date so of course having all these cool new features like the universal control the ability to unlock your iPhone without a mask a lot of people will actually want to install this update on their device should you install it or not of course being on beta 1 and being an update that has quite a lot of new features this probably won't be the best update to install on a device that you use daily because it's beta 1 so if you want to do that i would actually wait maybe for beta 2 or at least wait for the public beta release of this update before you install it on your main device so that's basically it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one